All righty, tractor lovers and bush hog fans. Is it a bush hog, a brush hog, or a rotary cutter? That's the real main question. But today we're going to unhitch and show y'all some cool, super slick tricks that y'all may or may not have thought of before. So let's go find us a nice parking spot for this uh, bush hog here. And school is in session. Look at that, that's the best service truck a man could ever hope for right there. Look at that. Says, Clean up after yourself. You don't learn nothing today but that one little idea right there. You'll be way ahead of the game. Like a whole lot of junk around here. Trying to get on to the owner of this joint. Trying to run a respectable place around here. The number one trick to unhitching your uh, rotary cutter. Try to park it on a level spot. You see, that's mission impossible around here. So we're going to back the machine up the hill there and park it right there. You hope our tractor don't roll down the hill once we get out to an inch. Boy, that looks like a flat level spot, don't it? Put the brake on this day. I better put the blade down. What I always like to do when I'm parking this machine. I like to set it on some concrete blocks or some wooden blocks so it keeps it up off the ground. And so by doing that, it puts a little airflow under the machine so it don't rust out a little bad, so bad. And it also gives the uh, straight possums the squirrels, rabbits, and all that other stuff. A nice little place to come get in under the out of the rain. So we're gonna set that baby down on the ground. Get around here to the lever. One of the uh, best teachers I ever had in the world would not only tell me what to do, but he would also tell me the reason behind it. The uh, main reason I got it on the blocks is sometimes you need to slide it side to side in order to get the, the hose to match up on your three-point hitch. And by keeping most of it off the ground, it keeps it from sinking in the ground so then you can also either take a long bar and slide your bush hog side to side or you can go back there on the wheel and jerk it a little bit. The first thing we like to do just simply 
unhitched the PTO. You see that was rather easy. The second thing we like to do is pull the pin and get our top link out. There you can see that slides out nice and easy. Get our top link up over here out of the way. And pull our pins on our uh, bottom link, sir, over three point hitch. Unhooked on that side. Unhooked on that side. Now what we like to do is we like to set ourselves up for success the next time we're going to hitch it up. We uh, this time we moved the tractor out of the way. But we always take our drive length apart. Clean that up. Get all the dirt and grind and grass and everything else out of it. Grease it back up and put it back together with fresh grease and then nice and clean. And a lot of times we'll uh, oil this little contraption with the little ball bearings in there. Clean that up real nice. Weatherproof it with a uh, trash bag or something there. So there y'all. If y'all got any uh, super slick tricks to make life easy like that, that'll help anybody else out. Be sure and leave it in the comments below. But, uh, there y'all. The uh, rotary cutter is unhitched. It's starting to rain and. Uh, Time to go hitch up the backhoe and go to work. Thanks for watching. Thanks for you guys' time. Be sure to uh, subscribe to the show if you ain't already. Stay safe and have a great day.